Okay, so I like to make videos that's based on actual facts. This video is about self-defense and New York and how New York technically is in a self-defense state, but it can be used as a defense when a person has a, a felony case involving a deadly weapon. So the difference between New York and down south where self-defense is uh, legal, is a law, um, is, is basically self-defense is a second amendment, right? So the difference between down south is with the uh, circumstances of the case and the actual facts of what happened, the facts of the matter, a person can use deadly force to defend their property. And if the DA gets the facts of the matter, the facts of the case, and they find out that it's a good enough ground for self-defense by a person knowing his right, he can when them when all um, cops read the nigga his Miranda rights, he can speak on behalf of himself instead of a lawyer. So if the um the situation presents a case of self defense in down south, the DA will hear the case and if it's a good enough ground for self defense when meaning you had a weapon on you because you felt your life's in jeopardy and you decided to use use it to defend yourself, the, the district attorney won't pick it up. So it'll just be a case that never got picked up for them from the district attorney because of the self-defense right. And there's really no due process down, down south when it comes to self-defense. In New York, on the other hand, it's a due process for every offense. So something that the DA wouldn't pick up down south, say if a nigga kills somebody, and you know, whatever the case be self-defense and all that, they're still gonna have to go through the process. So the person's gonna have to go through the system. Unlike down south, we when a when the um person gets arrested for let's say well might might not get arrested it might be a situation where the cops want to find out about what happened and he can speak if he knows how to speak for himself and you know and he knows he's, he knows his right and he knows the law his right is his right to defend himself from harm and um, the district attorney won't pick up the case. Unlike New York, once again, unlike New York, the district attorney will pick up any case that's involved in a murder of an individual or any case. It, New York will pick up any case, regardless of what. So that's just the difference between down south and New York. Now, when a person that's accused of murder or homicide or whatever, and in New York, he has to go through the system, the bookends, and get fingerprinted and and arraignment. They'll set a nigga bail that real high. Then he has uh, 180 hours, so I believe that's like six days to decide the case whether you're going to be indicted or not. So within six days. If you can come up with a, a good enough story um, that can not get you indicted where you had to use uh, deadly force to and self-defense, then you know you explain your side, you explain your, your situation to the grand jury, then you can get exonerated, you won't get indicted, you can get cut loose. So that's different between New York. You have to go through the system. You have to get friendly pretty. You have to get a rain. And depending on what you know, 
within six days, you go in front of the grand jury, then you can um, either have your lawyer. I wouldn't do that. If I, if, if motherfucker know how to speak, he can talk his way out of that. You know what I'm saying? He can talk his way out of that. If he got priors, he might be convicted of possession of a deadly weapon. And even that, and they can put a certain motion to get that dismissed due to the Second Amendment right. You gotta know how to do that. You gotta put a motion in. So, but New York, you're not really allowed to have a firearm if you have a record. But there's other ways to work around it. Like I said, it's a motion. You always have to fight for your Second Amendment right. The government, the legal system, I'm not gonna tell you this, but if you know it, you know. It, you know. So that's the difference between New York and down south. Second Amendment right, self-defense is always official. I did this because, like for instance, say I'm in the streets and you got two people with bats trying to attack me and I happen to have a gun on me. And I shoot both of them dead. That's a good enough ground for self-defense. And a motherfucker might just get convicted of possession of a deadly weapon. But the homicides or two homicides, it's not going to cut. It's not going to stick because the motherfucker had a bat and he was approaching me with a bat with an intent to kill me. That's the same thing with the King Bond and uh, the uh, dude from well, how King Bond got killed. King Bond was in the wrong because he started trying to attack people. And he had a group of other people. So the person he, he was trying to attack felt his life was in threatened. And he had the right to shoot the nigga because King Bond approached him with like seven, eight niggas. So that was how the person was able to get off because of his self-defense right. And um, what else I'm gonna say? That's basically it when it comes to self-defense. And I'll explain to you everything about self-defense and how New York is different between other states like down south because you have to go through the process. And within six days, you have to, you can you can tell your um, side of the story to the grand jury. A lot of times a lawyer will waive your right and not want you to speak, but you got to know how to speak to people. You can't be showing emotion when the grand jury, when the DA asks us questions and shit like that. You gotta talk calmly and just know what to say. You know what I'm saying? On why you committed the murder. And you can just be cut loose right there. You know what I'm saying? You won't get indicted. Down south, motherfucker might not even, might not even have to go through the process. Motherfucker did, might not really want to pick up the case if, he, if the motherfucker feels it's not a good enough ground. That's the difference between New York self defense and down south self defense.